Hi everybody, happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here with 2020-2021 Panini Illusions Basketball Asia Edition 20 box random division break number one. All card ship, everyone gets a random division, a lot of parallels, a lot of different inserts. I think uh, Asia red and yellow trophy collection signatures. So there, there's some, some special uh, Asia exclusives in there. So release to the Asian market first, and then I think eventually it gets redistributed back to us, whatever is left over at X amount of time. Big thanks to uh, Chris, Sean Healy, Steve Birch, Louie for getting in on it. There are the divisions right here. Let's roll it, randomize it three and a four, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. We got Steve down to LT. Three and a four, seven times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Good luck. We got the Northwest down to the Central. All right, Steve Birch with the Northwest, Chris with the Southwest, Sean with the Southeast, Louis with the Pacific, Steve with the Atlantic, and Louis with the Central. Well, it's alphabetized by division. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we'll have this break. Stick around, BRB. Uh, hi, welcome back, gang. No deals were done, so that list you saw is officially printed out and remains the same. You rewatched it and you did have those Mariners glasses on. Yeah, there there is as a neutral fan, I was a little, I was able to be a little more objective. I, I did see that news, yeah. Mike Tower, the little NBA news for us. And the NBA and the Players Association announcing. Then you can see it says Panini Asia right there. That's the Illusions Asia edition. And 20 boxes. Settle in, ladies and gentlemen. It'll take a minute or two, but hopefully we'll see some nice stuff. Well, I don't think I need to call you out, Chad. I think I think people uh, people will learn their lesson when they figure it out on their own. I'll open up a maybe I'll open up five boxes at a time. No, but I'm. Are I you? Played the whole year. Yeah? yeah. Is it? Good? It's worth it. Well, it's gonna be worth it. Right, because our teams are out of market, so, yeah. so we'll we'll never. Well, you get all the insight, extra stuff with the yeah. seventy dollars one a year. Oh, ball, 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 ball. ball. Yeah. Isn't it funny that they retired jerseys, but. LeBron and those guys that were number six are grandfathered in, so they don't have to switch their jerseys. Oh, that's true, right? LeBron switched I'm like, their six. Think they're gonna make LeBron change the no, jersey? they're not going to make LeBron change the jersey. That's fucked up, though. I would have liked it if they would have like, retired his jersey like, early. Like, not because he passed away. Right, but right. It's like, he was so legendary. He should have done it a long time ago. Oh, that was a great ball out right there. Great punch. That's like Mario Rivera got his. He still was able to wear 42 because they yeah. didn't retire that number until after. Yeah. So he got grandfathered in. Uh, 12, 212. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's because, like, you know, I mean, I get it. You're, you're being a memorial. You know, kind of a memory fan, but it's like, you know, I would have done it, like, it, you know, if he's such a big player, I would have done it, like, right after he retired. Sure, yeah. You know? Why not? 
I get it, like the Kobe thing and everything, that's more like, you know, tragic, so it's like, you want to honor It's a little different, but. You know, like Wayne Gretzky, like literally just out right here right after you're retired, but you're retired. Like, oh, do they really? Right after. Yeah. Dude, they, like, when he broke all the records, they literally stopped the game for like 30 minutes and honored him on the ice. <laughs> yeah, I, like, he's, he's pretty amazing. Oh, uh, a fancy football? A fancy, a fancy league? We thought about that over the years. But like, being the commissioner for a fancy football, that's like almost, it's almost like another job. Sometimes. I might, I might do more, uh, I might do a pick em league this year. So I think these, are the uh, are the exclusives to one of the exclusives to the set? There's red and yellow insert parallels are also part of that exclusive, like this. It's Kemba Walker to 25. <clears throat> that's Celtics edition, and that's going to go to the Celtics are in the Atlantic. So that'll go to Steve Birch. And we'll do a top bottom randomizer for all of those cards. Well, I guess we'll do we'll do a top bottom randomizer for cards like that too. Keeper league, you definitely got to do a keeper league. I, and I'm a big fan of the auction draft as well, not the not the snake draft. Years ago, our crew uh, changed to a auction draft, and it was and it, it really changed a lot of things for us. It's just more competitive. You're just, you're just not going by the random luck of the draft of the draft order. And, you know, it's just an additional challenge that, that we really like. Nice lamello ball. Lamello Ball is a Hornet. The Hornets are in the are in the Southwest, I believe. No. Uh, they're in the Southeast. Sorry, check that. Southeast. That will be Sean Healy. You'll get all these Lamellos. Anthony Edwards, pretty nice. Timberwolves, Northwest. So all of these will go to Steve Birch. I think usually for auction, standard budget is like around 260, 300, something like that. So it really gets you thinking, you know, how do you really value players? You know, it's easy to draft Patrick Mahomes, but at what cost do you draft Patrick Mahomes?
there can be some gamesmanship too on um, you can try to get people to overpay for certain players ruin their budget you know then those bench players there's players you're taking a flyer on that are just a couple bucks you know also could be an interesting layer because you're just like oh I, I can get the, get sneaky good value from this two dollar player Tyrese Halliburton is still a uh, Kings edition, and Kings are in the Pacific, and that'll go to Louis. Another Tyrese Halliburton. I, I like this illusions design. I kind of like the the dual pictures right there, the, the close-up in black and white and the, and the uh, in action kind of, the action photo in color in the foreground. All right, first five box in the books. This break won't take as long as I can. No, maybe I think we're on track actually. About 10 minutes. About a 40 minute break. Now as you as you can tell, the autographs are, are fewer and far between in this uh, in this Asia edition. We've got another, uh, another case of this available in the store right now, jazpiececasebreaks.com. We're down to two, actually, we're only down to two breaks to complete our promo. The deadline was originally uh, Saturday night, but it looks like we're gonna do it with plenty of time to spare. So if we get that done tonight, you know, that might force our hand and make us think of a new promo in the, in the future. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, one of the big headlines that Mike was Mike Tower was mentioning, NBA to retire Russell's number six for all thirty teams. Now Mike is asking, are there any other jersey numbers you can't wear in the NBA? Oh, I missed Chad's comment about not getting NFL Plus so you don't have to watch the Raiders' 17 losses by the Raiders. I think you, you might be confusing the Raiders with the Seattle Seahawks. They've got a good shot at going 0-17. Better than the Raiders, I think. Oh, wait, there is another retired number? Dennis Rodman tried to wear this when he played for the Mavs. Does anyone know? Speaking of win totals, the uh, Caesar Sportsbook have put out their win totals. The Celtics are the consensus betting favorites to win the title, having the highest projected win total for the season at 54 and a half. The Suns are right behind him, 53 and a half, so on and so forth. What's the win total for the Lakers? 44 and a half, about, about middle of the pack. The lowest win total is uh, shared by the Pacers, Rockets, and Spurs. They're at 24 and a half. Wait, it's not retired? It's just not worn in a family league? What's a family league? You wore 70 instead. Let me 
maybe I'm reading that wrong. I don't understand that statement. Nineteen out of twenty five. This will randomize separately. Oh, I see. Is that really a rule? Players can't wear number sixty nine in the NBA. Are they the only league that does this? I feel like yeah, the other I feel like other leagues don't do this, right? I mean, I feel like I feel like that just brings that calls more attention to 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 the number sixty nine and the sort of fun but childishness of it. You're giving it credit. Maxi had a nice season last year. And another LaMelo ball this time with the uh, that different parallel, that different print in the background. Nice one for the Southeast, Sean Healy. The Sixers are in the Atlantic. We for Steve Birch. Oliver saying used to be you couldn't have a number above five. Above five on either digit in basketball. Dr. J was the exception. Mike saying appears that the MLB and NFL have players with number six that are number six nine, but no NBA player reportedly has ever worn that number. NBA won't confirm if this is a rule or not. Another LaMelo ball, nice. <clears throat> See Birch with the Northwest. Get, got that Anthony Edwards and Sean Healy with the Southeast with the LaMelo ball. Yeah, Jason Tatum was flipped around, made it seem like it was something especial, but just a normal insert.
And Luka Doncic. And there's an Anthony Edward instant impact insert. Nice, next five boxes almost there. <clears throat> Just the NBA then, huh? It's interesting. In hockey, it was interesting that many of the players wearing 13 were from Europe. So it may not be an unlucky number in some of, in some of those cultures. Speaking of unlucky numbers, uh, some hotels in Vegas do not have a certain floor number. Uh, what's the, I think in China there is a unlucky number, I think it might be the number four. Which if I remember correctly, I think language wise, it, it it's like, phonetically similar to uh, the word for death. <laughs> so I don't, I think some hotels in Vegas, especially ones that, that have a, a large Chinese population that visit their resort casinos, will not have a floor number four or a 44. It is four, okay, so Mike Tower, thank you for confirming. It's four in China. Word is similar to the word for death. There you go. Yeah. So some 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 uh, some of the hotels won't have the number four, or won't have a fourth floor, or a forty-fourth floor. Remember when they built the MGM Grand for the first time, maybe in the eighties or nineties or whatever? Um, they initially built it. So the MGM obviously has the big lion logo. MGM originally uh, had uh, their main entrance was you walk through the head, through the mouth of a gigantic lion. And apparently there is like an old parable or fable or something like that uh, of how unlucky it is um, to walk through the mouth of a lion. Some some Chinese parable, fable, whatever. They had to rip it out. People wouldn't go. All right, hey, see you, David. Right, that's true. Yeah, some buildings don't have a 13th floor. I've, I've seen that pretty frequently. But when I first saw like the lack of a 44th floor, I was like, huh? What are some of the other? Uh, what are some of some other unlucky numbers in different cultures? Mike Tower. Mike was once behind someone at a grocery store when their order came rang up to six dollars and sixty six cents. They put an item back to change the total. I've heard people do that with like license plates. They'll get assigned a six 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 license plate, and they're like, no thanks. Instant impact, Lamelo Ball. Insert. 
Another Cole Anthony. I'll be topping. Still, still has some upside, right? You know, if I was that person at the grocery store, I would add something. I would add like a stick of gum. Is it Zappy? Sorry, I'm watching the, ooh, autograph? Yes. Four out of five, Trent Forrest. Rookie signs autograph for the Jazzy Jazz. That's a Northwest team, Steve Birch. Steve, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Is it Zappies? No, it's not Zapp. No, uh, sorry, I, I was watching the, the Giants-Patriots game, and uh, I guess the quarterback that they drafted, Bailey Zapp, I thought it was Zapp, um, is getting some snaps. No, but the announcer, I'm pretty sure, said Zappy. But Zaspies, if it was Zaspies, then I, that, could, that could be a... A uh, Jaspie's knockoff. What was the what was the fast food restaurant in Coming to America? That was like the knockoff of McDonald's. James Wiseman for Louis in the Pacific. Ooh, nice Anthony Edwards there. That's for Steve Birch in the Northwest. Yeah, if your last name's already Zappy, what what would what would the sports nickname be? Zapper, Zapster. I think I would go like Zaps, right? If if Bailey Zappy already has Zappy, you got to go Zap. Yeah, Zap did a great job out there. Zaps, Zaps to Zaps did a great job out there. Zaps still working on on expanding that playbook. We like what we see from, from Zaps. Really learning the playbook. All right. Next five boxes. Remember, we got one more division of this in the store. 
Uh, we're only down to two breaks. We're only two breaks away from knocking out um, our promo. It's just this one, one more of these, and then another, and someone took a division already, thank you. So we're only 25 spots away. The 20 spot uh, UEFA Champions League soccer break, which break one is coming up after this video, and then another 20 box division break, and then we can run the promo once we finish those breaks, which is awesome, way ahead of schedule. That was you, X-Line, nice, thank you. Final five boxes. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. Nice LaMelo Ball rookie card. Southeast, Sean Healy. Instant Impact, insert LaMelo ball. Huh, I did not know that. Mike Tower is saying, were you aware that Randall Cunningham, I was not aware, had, ran, the Randall Cunningham had been working as the team chaplain for the Vegas Raiders until July when he resigned from that role. Hmm. I did not know that. What's he doing now? Cole Anthony. Uh, Orlando Magic also should be southeast, right? Yes, they are. Sean Healy. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess I guess he was like, oh, they're good now. I'll I, I'll resign from my team chaplain role. Is that team chaplain role open now? What do you do as a team chaplain? Like aside from I guess I suppose some standard pre and post game prayers, but I mean, is he like running Bible studies and stuff during the week? Another LaMelo ball for Sean Healy.
And another Anthony Edwards. Uh, is the Ravens game being aired? That's a good question. I've got Giants Patriots on NFL Network. They they have Titans Ravens on an, on the alternate yeah. channel, but which which I'm not getting. This program not available in my area. So no, we we are not get we don't get we don't get Titans Ravens. Unless maybe if you have NFL Plus. This break's brought to you by NFL Plus. Maybe if, if you have NFL Plus, you'll have access to that game. Anthony. Here's a LeBron James in that parallel. And that, my friends, is that. Now we got a couple randomizers, a few randomizers to do here. So one will be a top bottom randomizer for these teams, right? And then we'll do a separate one because this one is numbered. Randomizers here. All right, so let's flip back to ram.org. New dice, two different lists. One of them will just be top bottom, and the other will be Cole Anthony or Jamal Murray. One dice roll for both lists. Two and a four, six times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times the bottom teams, we'll get those cards. Two and a four, six times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time it goes to Jamal Murray, who is a Denver Nugget. And Denver is in the Northwest. That goes to Steve Birch. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.